Hello my sweet friends, welcome back. Another month means another TBR. And once again, I've managed to make a very ambitious TBR. I don't know how this happens. This month I was like, no, I'm only gonna put maybe like 10 books on my TBR. But no, I am sitting here with a thick stack <laughs> in front of me. But I thought it would be fun to go through my previous month's TBR and just give a simple yes or no or I started it to tell you how successful I was with the previous month's TBR. I just think it would be interesting and fun and kind of expose myself a little bit to see how badly I stick to my TBR basically. Okay, so on my last month's TBR, I had 17 books. I read 14 books last month. If you want a full rundown, you can watch my wrap up. I'll link it down below. If you happen to have missed it, I uploaded it a few days ago, but let's get into this. The Summer of Broken Rules, no. The Cheat Sheet, yes. More than words? No. Alex approximately? Yes. The Truth About Love? Yes. The Girl Before? No. Too Late? Yes. Siege and Storm? No. Ruin and Rising? No. These Hollow Vows? Yes. A Lineage of Grace? No. The Defining Decade? Yes. And then as for Kindle Reads, Travis? Yes. Darling Venom? No. Zodiac Academy? No. The Vanishing Stair? Yes. And The Hand on the Wall? Yes. Honestly, not awful. I feel like I hit like 50-ish percent, which is like okay, but it's it's not great, is it? But let's talk about the books that I want to read in July and we'll see how well we do at the end of the month. Starting off with Addicted After All, I actually started this last month and I think this might have been on my TBR that I posted on Instagram now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't think I talked about it in my TBR video, which is what I was basing that list off just before. But I'm about a quarter of the way through this, so I have started it, I'm making my way through it, but this is one of those books that I kind of just like pick up, read a few chapters and put it down again and it'll like slow get through it because it's a bit more of a, a comfort read so it's just nice like before bed to pick it up and read a few chapters if I'm kind of tired and don't want to be like super invested in something because I feel like it's just one of those books that's easy to read so hopefully I'll make it the rest of the way through this book this month but that is the first one on the list oh let's make a pile then we have some Colleen Hoover it's pretty rare that I go a month without reading a Colleen Hoover book, but in saying that, I am making my way to the end of her backlist. But I still haven't read the Maybe Someday series, so I've got Maybe Someday and Maybe Not because they sell these at Big W now. We love to see it. $12 for a book. Incredible. But I haven't got Maybe Now, so if I get around to reading that, hopefully I'll just get it on my Kindle or I'll order it on Amazon or something like that. But I'm going to try and read these two this month. I just feel like Colleen Hoover's are so easy to read. Yes, they break your heart into a million pieces, but there's just something so addicting about them so I love having her books in my TBR because I feel like if I'm just in the mood maybe I feel like I'm getting into a slump or I'm just like not in the mood to read anything I feel like Colleen Hoover is just always my go-to in that respect do I think she is the best writer of all time maybe not do I feel like it is quality literature not really at all but it's just fun it's a good time so we'll see if I get around to these this month I feel like I'm the last person to hop on this bandwagon as per usual when it comes to books I feel like I always read a book way after it's had its little like 15 minutes of fame on booktok or booktube or whatever but I finally got my hands on the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. I've had a lot of questions about how I got these covers in Australia because they are the US covers. And let me just say I'm so glad that I got this box set because they have recently redone the cover of the first book and it doesn't match with any of the other books. Like they haven't redone the second or the third book. And so at least in Australia, we have this brand new cover of the first book, but not the second two books. Hopefully they'll redo those ones as well. But like, what's the point in buying the first book in a trilogy if it doesn't match with the other two. Like I, I hate that. So very glad that I got my hands on the US covers. I just think they're so cute. I just got them from Amazon if you're wondering. And if you just look up the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy or the Summer I Turned Pretty box set, hopefully it'll still come up for you. But it was shipped from the US, so it took a few weeks to get to me. But I have just seen so many people talking about this, especially since the TV show came out. And I've been wanting to read it for a long time. But first of all, I was waiting to get my beautiful covers in the mail. But second of all, it is such a summery vibe and it's winter here in Australia. So I just haven't been in the mood to pick up a trilogy like this because I would love to like sit on the beach and read this in a bikini, you know, like I really get into the actual vibe of this trilogy, but I don't want to wait six months to read it because I've already had so many spoilers on TikTok because people just keep talking about the TV show especially and it is really hard to avoid spoilers for anything on TikTok because you don't know what's going to come up on your For You page like you can just be watching like a literal cat video or something and the next scroll you've read a spoiler for the books or for the TV show. I've also seen so many spoilers for Love Island because we're two episodes behind in Australia and I know you can like <laughs> illegally watch it but I just don't, I don't want to 
deal with that so I've just been watching it as it's been released slowly in Australia but I keep getting spoilers about the new episodes that people are watching in the US and the UK that we haven't got in Australia yet and it's frustrating so I might just say goodbye to TikTok at this rate because I just have had too many spoilers for too many books and too many TV shows and I'm not having it. I think they'll just be a fun time. They're all pretty short. I think I'll just fly through them and I'm excited to finally get the hype and choose which team I'm on. I recently picked up The Fine Print by Lauren Asher and I'm so nervous to read this, but I'm also really excited. I feel like from what I've heard, it's a bit of a love-hate relationship. People seem to either love this series or hate it. And I have no idea which side I'm gonna take. I have no idea what I'm gonna think of this or what my opinion will be. I am skeptical. I did already buy the second book in the series as well, so I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping I'll love it, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm unsure. I'm unsure. The next book I have heard phenomenal things about, I've barely heard anyone say a negative thing about it, YA Fantasy, which I've just been loving recently, especially I think because of the winter here in Australia, I feel like cozying up with like a dark academia or a YA fantasy, anything fantasy really, is just so cozy and comforting to me. I don't know why, but I feel like summer is for romances and winter is for fantasy. So I feel like that's kind of the vibe I've been in lately. And this is the next one that I wanna tackle. I just cannot wait for this. I think this honestly might be my next read. I'm pretty sure this is about a girl who ends up going to some sort of like academy, school type of thing. And she just had no idea it existed until she is taken there. I could just be pulling all of that information out of thin air. I'm just trying to remember what I've heard people talk about, but the whole idea of it, like a secret academy, dark academia vibes, but like not too dark because it's YA and I feel like YAs can't be as dark as like normal dark academia. I love that sort of stuff. Like I eat that up. And because it's like fantasy slash dark academia, that just sounds phenomenal and just like completely suits the vibe of the winter books that I just, want to get my hands on so honestly this is like a five star prediction for me so hopefully I'm not let down because I will be sad you know how there are just some books that you pick them up and you're like I just know I'm gonna love this like I just I just have a feeling and that is one of those books these two books have been on my TBR for months months and months and months and I have yet to read them and I have said to myself that if I do not pick them up this month I'm literally not reading them like that's it, I'm done. <laughs> I did end up getting the audiobook for this book because sometimes when I wanna read a book but I just like also don't wanna read it, an audiobook is the perfect way to kind of get myself into it. Even if I just start the audiobook and kind of like get back into the world, get back to the characters because I really enjoyed Shadow and Bone, which if you didn't know, these two books are part of the Shadow and Bone trilogy and I'm trying to finish that trilogy. But yeah, I got my hands on the audiobook. I'm gonna see if that will kind of motivate me a little bit more because I think my issue is since I read Shadow and Bone so many months ago I've honestly forgotten a lot of things like I remember the main things and I remember the main characters the main storyline but I've kind of forgotten the ins and outs and that kind of sucks in fantasy because I feel like there's so much attention to detail and so many like foreshadowing things that they'll mention in the first book that come into fruition in the second and third books or the other books in the series and it almost sucks to like read them so separately because you miss out on noticing all of those little things so yes i did enjoy the first book and i am excited to read these two books but there's just like that level of like but what if i've forgotten everything and i don't want to reread the first book i don't know we'll see if i don't get through them this month it's not happening. I give up and I'm moving on. I also want to read The Masterpiece by Francine Rivers. This is a chunky girl, but I've just heard incredible things about it. I've had a lot of people recommend this book to me and so I really want to read it. And I also managed to find an audiobook for this as well. And sometimes with thicker books, I also find audiobooks helpful to kind of just like get me into them and get me through the first like few chapters. Even if I kind of like do a tandem read where I like half listen to the audiobook, half read it in physical form, which I think is what I'm going to do with this one. But my my library has an audiobook which is amazing so I'm excited to read this I love Francine Rivers I love her writing I love her storytelling I'm predicting this to be quite high in my star ratings I think it'll be a four or five star read but we'll see if you guys saw one of my previous vlogs and you saw when I went book shopping I picked up the highly anticipated Guild. Well, I picked up most of the series. This is the first book in the Plated Prisoner series. I honestly don't know that much about it, but I've just heard a lot of people being really excited about it. And it's a fantasy series and I want to get in on that. You guys know I've been loving fantasy and if there's a super hyped up series, you best believe I want to get my hands on it and get into it. As far as I know, from what I can remember, I'm pretty sure it's just about a girl who is a prisoner to the king potentially and everything she touches turns to gold so i'm assuming he keeps her as a prisoner because he can like profit of her but 
I don't want to make too many assumptions. But yeah, I have the first three books in the series. I think the fourth book was either very recently released or it's about to be released very soon. I actually haven't kept up with it, but I'm hoping I love this since I already bought the first three books and I really think I will, but I'm just, yeah, super excited to get into this series. And it's honestly one of my favorite covers. I love it. It's got like gold foiling on it and it's just absolutely stunning. And then lastly for physical books, I just have my nonfiction book that I want to read this month, which is Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. I have actually started reading this already, but I think it's one of those books that I read quite slowly because I really want to absorb, annotate, take notes. This is one of my favorite Christian nonfiction books. I think C.S. Lewis is a mastermind. He's so incredibly intelligent and just has so much wisdom. I've read maybe like three or four of his books now and I just love his writing. It is quite hard to process. I feel like you need to like concentrate a lot to really get what he's saying. But this is one of those books that every time you read it, you get a new revelation, I feel like personally. This will be my third time reading it. I think the plan is that I would love to read this once a year because I just feel like every time I read it, I get so much out of it. So this is like such an old dingy copy because I've had this in my life for so long. And then lastly on my Kindle, I have a few books on here that I've got kind of ready and waiting for me because I have a few more trips this month, which firstly means I don't know how much time I'm even gonna have to read. But I thought that last month and I ended up reading more than usual, even though I had more trips than usual. So I don't even know how that happened, but I will probably get a lot of reading done on flights this month, but probably not a lot when I'm actually on the trips. But I also, I'm just trying to be better about not bringing a lot of books with me, especially when I have to fly because they're just so heavy. They take up so much weight. So I'm assuming when I go away, I'll be mostly reading Kindle books. But the main ones that I kind of have at the top of my list, I'm trying to be realistic. I have so many good ones on here, but I think the ones I'm gonna aim to read this month are From Luke Off With Love, which will be my first Mariana Zapata book, which I'm so excited about because I've just heard incredible things and I'm very excited to experience it for myself. And the other one that is very high on my list is Throttled by Lauren Asher, which is the first book in the Dirty Air series. Again, super excited. Both of those ones are on Kindle Unlimited if you are a KU girly which we love to see. And then another one, which I'm really intrigued about, but I don't know if I'm gonna get around to, like we'll see, is Unsound by Ash Finley. I don't remember who I heard talk about this, but I must have got this recommendation from someone. It's also Kindle Unlimited and I've had it in my library for ages. And then today I was like looking through all of my Kindle Unlimited books, trying to get ready for my trips, trying to make sure that they were all like downloaded and stuff. And I was like, what even is this book? I don't even remember downloading this. And when I read the summary, I was like, oh, like now I remember. But apparently it's about someone who gets like sent away to like a troubled youth camp kind of situation but I'm assuming it's in the middle of nowhere and I think it's gonna have found family which chef's kiss I love and I think it's just about them navigating that but the whole idea of like being sent away into like the forest with a bunch of like troubled kids troubled teens just sounds so interesting to me and I feel like it's just a super unique concept that I haven't read about before and that always gets me interested because sometimes especially with romance I feel like you can just read the same thing 10 times with a slightly different storyline and sometimes you just want to switch it up a bit so we'll see if I get to that I'm not sure but it's, it's on there. But those are all the books that I have to talk about today. I hope you guys found some new recommendations. Maybe you can add some of these to your TBR for this month. And if any of you have read any of the books that I talked about and you loved them, please hype them up in the comments so that I'm convinced and motivated to read them. But no matter how much I stick to this list, I'm sure it will be a fun month of reading. And I'm sure I'll keep you guys updated with all of my other book videos and vlogs along the way. But I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video very soon. Good. Goodbye.